Yes, it's interesting, isn't it? This is a, a, a coronavirus which we've probably all had a cough and a cold caused by mm. coronavirus. Um, it's one of the most common things to cause colds. This time it has mutated. The genetic structure has changed of that virus. It's moved probably from an animal in those, one of those large uh, those animal mar those markets in Wuhan to a human where it has started to give us the symptoms of a, of a cough and a cold. The outbreak was picked up in China by the Chinese uh, at the end of December. They identified the virus in early January and they've done all the molecular sequencing. So we know it's a coronavirus. Called a coronavirus because it looks like a crown under a microscope, under an electron microscope. Corona is Latin for crown. Um, and now it's the case of having identified the virus, we know the molecular structure, so we can put together the diagnostic testing to check whether you have coronavirus when you have the symptoms or not. Now it's a case of containing that outbreak. We've had four and a half thousand cases reported so far with about a hundred deaths. Mortality two to three percent. Um, that compares to other coronavirus outbreaks which we've had. SARS back in 2002 was also caused by a coronavirus um, and that had about 10% um, death rate. And Middle East respiratory virus, which is another coronavirus, which is actually still endemic mm. in the Middle East, 35% um, death rate uh, and that's caused by, and that's still going on, uh, and that's caused by drinking uh, camel milk and camel urine and it mm. spreads to us that way. So the concern is, is this the next big flu pandemic that everybody's concerned about you know back in Have we were just saying um, not at the moment I mean it, it appears to be very well contained I mean the Chinese have done some extraordinary things I mean identifying the virus getting its molecular structure and then instigating those quarantine measures in China where they have shut down these huge cities mm -hmm. and stopped all movement on the other side it's come at a really bad time for the Chinese because it's Chinese New Year. You, know, you get three billion journeys, I think they say, are happening in mm. China with this New Year. It's likely to have moved around China. So we've seen those cases around different parts of China. Wuhan, such a large right. transport hub, it's come to other parts of the world. We'll see other cases popping up. It appears, though, you know, that the death rate remains at about 2%, 3%. It seems to be very well contained at the moment. Yes, and at least they are, they are putting, as you say, those, play, those measures in place to uh, lock down approximately 56 million people. My question is, look, we all diligently every single season go out and get our influenza shot, mm. but, you know, th th with varying degrees of efficacy, you know, those influenza shots never have a 100% success rate. You can still end up getting the flu. So my question here is, with the coronavirus, what are the hopes for some kind of vaccine? I'm imagining that every single drug company around the world is, is, is cranking up the kilns and trying to, uh, to work on a vaccine? And number two, how effective are the antivirals that are already out there in the market against what we're dealing with now? Mm. The, about 25% of people who have get the virus um, become quite sick and require hospital admission, and then a small percentage, unfortunately, don't, don't do very well and die. Um, treatment is what we in medical terms call symptomatic and supportive. Mm -hmm. So we will look after you, give you fluids, but there's no cure. Um, there's no antiviral that's working for that. Um, I'm sure there is work being done on developing a vaccine for this. Developing vaccines are, is very hard. I mean, it took a long time to develop a vaccine for Ebola, which we've, which we've now got. You know, we have no effective vaccine for HIV yet. So I think that's in time. And the other thing is we, we will see, I'm sure, further mutations of this coronavirus in the future. But Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.